vlog number 46, Sunday, December 3rd, 2023, 8.22 a.m. Currently watching Sunday NFL count on the Seahawks. Unfortunately, do not play today, so I guess I'll just watch other games. As you can see, I'm wearing my gray sweatshirt, which means I already got dressed. The reason my parents are coming soon, I don't know when exactly they're coming, but they're going to come before they go back to Eureka. They'll be here probably 10 minutes, and then they leave, and I'll pick this vlog back up. But as for now, I'm just going to sit here, watch the NFL countdown. Okay, it's 9.44. Just moved over to the couch. They just left. I'm not going to start taking videos off the black camera and editing this Grizz video from yesterday. That is going to take a very long time. At 10 o'clock, they're revealing the top four finally. I mean, this is this is it right here, folks. A lot of stuff happened. Georgia went down number one. Is Alabama and is Texas in? We know Washington and Michigan are going to be in. Who are those other two teams? That is going to be very interesting to see what they say. Is that Florida State, they're undefeated. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be very, very interesting. But until then, I'm going to take the videos off the black camera and start editing this video. All right, it's 10 o'clock. I took a break from editing the video. It's time to find out who is in the college football playoff. Here we go, everybody. It is time. Let's reveal the top four. Number one is at Michigan. It is the Michigan Wolverines. Number two will be the Washington Huskies, and that's where it gets interesting. Washington is number two. This is where it gets interesting. Alabama, Texas, Georgia. Florida State. Florida State hasn't played well. Texas has a win over Alabama, but Alabama beats Georgia. Or is Georgia going as one of the best four teams? It is really, really interesting. Let's see what number three is. Number three is Texas. The Texas Longhorns are into the college football playoff. Now it's interesting. Who is number four? Alabama, Georgia, or Florida State? Alabama should be above Georgia. So it's going to be Alabama or Florida State. Do you put Alabama, a one-loss Alabama team in, or an undefeated Florida State team in? This is interesting, folks. This is exciting. Man, this is exciting. Who is number four? Florida State or Alabama? Here are the three teams in contention for that number four spot. Alabama, Georgia, or Florida State. I, I think Alabama, but Florida State is undefeated. I don't know, man. I don't know. The SEC champ or the ACC champ? It's going to be one of them. I don't think it's going to be Georgia. Here we go. Number six. Let's see who's number six. Is it Georgia? Georgia is number six, so it's down to Florida State and Alabama. Who's number four? Is it Alabama? Number four. Alabama jumps Florida State. An undefeated Florida State team is out of the college football playoff. Those are your top four. The first undefeated champion from a Power 5 conference that did not make it into the college football playoff. Wow. Wow. All right, it's 11.06. I've just been sitting on the couch for the past hour. I'm now going to take a shower and get this day started. All right, it's 11.34. Just got out of the shower. I'm now going to move to the bed. Still watching this. I came out there arguing so, so much about Florida State not being in. It is unbelievable. What you'd love to see. NFL is on. This is better than the NFL, sorry. NFL. Seahawks don't even play today. Not really good games on. I'm not even watching this. But for now, I'm going to go sit on the bed for like 30 minutes. All right, it's 12.15. Just moved from the bed. I'm now going to make lunch today. It is going to be my second pizza from yesterday. That will be the lunch for today. Okay, here is the lunch for Sunday, December 3rd, 2023. A Pizza Hut pizza and a high C orange. Normally, I can't stand Greg McElroy, but the guy talking right now, Booger front. I cannot stand him. He is so incredibly wrong on his pick, and he will not get off of it. This show started at 10 o'clock. It's now two hours since that, and he just keeps going after the same thing he's been saying all the time, and he's not right. He is not correct. I just don't I don't get it. McElroy is better than him, and that's never a thing. Time to unveil the New Year's Six Bowls. Missouri going to Ohio State in the Cotton Bowl. Oregon should be in a New Year's Six Bowl. I'm interested to see where they end up at. The Oregon Ducks are headed to the Fiesta Bowl to take on the undefeated Liberty Flames. That's going to be a great matchup. Liberty's offense is on fire. They have one of the best offenses in the country. That's going to be a very, very good matchup for the Ducks. All right, just got done with the pizza. Moved over to the bed. It's 1249. Still watching the playoff selection thing. They're just talking about all the bowl games now. I'm going to sit here for like an hour or so, continue to edit the Grizz video, and then I'll move back over to the couch. All right, it's 157. I'm going to move back over to the couch and continue editing the Grizz video, but check it out. It is snowing. Here is the view in Missoula, Montana for Sunday, December 3rd, 2023. Snow is coming down. It's so weird because it did not snow for like two months straight and all of a sudden back-to-back -back days. It is snowing, but I love the snow. All right, it's 2.30. Just turned off the Eagles game. Look at what is on my favorite movie of all time, and it doesn't come close. Global Gym. 
We're better than you, and we know it. Love this movie so, so much. This is by far number one, and it's not close. This is a thousand times better than the NFL. I just am not feeling the NFL today. Grizz playoffs, college football, bowl season starting. I just don't care about the NFL today. Dodgeball for the next two hours. Let's go. All right, it's 2.58. Just moved back over the bed. Exactly one hour since I moved over to the couch. Still watching dodgeball. The snow is still coming down very, very heavily. I'm going to see here for probably another hour. And then you guessed it. Move back over to the couch. All right, it's 3.55. Just moved back over to the couch. I was re-watching the Grizz game. Luckily, this game was on ESPN+, Plus, so it was not Marty Morningwick. I cannot stand his announcing. So I could actually re-watch the game this time. Delaware just scored, make it 16-6. But as usual, like I said, 358 moved back over the couch. I'll move back over there. I don't know if I'll be over here in an hour, but I'll probably move back over there in like 30 minutes. All right, it's 4.30. Dodgeball just ended. I turned it to the 49ers-Eagles game. How about this? 49ers just scored a touchdown. 28-13, 49ers. That's unbelievable. They're taking it to the best team in the NFC right now. All right, it's 5.03. Just moved back over to the bed. Got all the videos edited. Now the video is uploading. So that is now done. 49ers are just absolutely murdering the Eagles. 35-13. That makes me feel a little bit better about our loss to them because this is at home. Eagles are losing at home by 22. I just, at least the Seahawks did the same thing. So we're in the same, at least I know the 49ers are just really, really good. We play them next week on the road. We're going to get absolutely blown out the building. But I don't know if I'm going to eat anything because I've been eating a ton of snacks and I'm not really hungry. But if I do, obviously, I'll let you know. But I'm going to see you for like 30, 40 minutes, and then I'll take a shower. All right, it's 5.49. Just moved from the bed. I'm now going to take a shower, get this night started. All right, it's 6.15. Just got out of the shower. I'm going to sit here on the couch for 45 minutes, and then at 7 o'clock, I'll eat the popcorn, go over there, be in the nighttime routine. All right, it's 7.03. Just moved back over to the bed, made the popcorn, got my, like, seven drinks over here. Switching back and forth between the Packers-Chiefs game and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Packers just took a 14-3 lead on the Chiefs. Did not expect that. National Lampoon's Vacation is on right now. Just going to keep switching back and forth. I'll do that for about an hour, and I'll update you at 8 o'clock. Once again, here's my favorite movie scene of all time. Enjoy. Good, rotten, forest, fleshing, low-life, I just love that scene so, so much. That is the greatest scene in all of movie history right there. All right, it's 8 o'clock. Still watching National Lampoon's Vacation. I'll update you again at 9 o'clock. All right, it's 9.07. Just saw the Mariners traded Jared Kelenic, Marco Gonzalez, and Evan White for two unknown pitchers for the Braves. I honestly give up on this team. I have absolutely no clue what we're doing anymore. We have traded every one of our good players for no-name pitchers. What are we doing? It's like, do we want to, are we trying to break the record for most losses in a season? Because we're doing a really, really good job if that's the thing. I just don't understand what direction we're going in. Unless we're going to sign someone big, which probably not. But with all these players, you have to think something's happening. But I might take a shower soon. My head is starting to really hurt. But I'll probably wait till after Chiefs-Packers game is over to do that. And when I do that, I obviously will update you. The refs got money on the Chiefs in this game. They just called a personal foul. Patrick Mahomes was in bounds. They thought he was out of bounds. That is an absolutely atrocious call. They're trying to get the Chiefs in this game. Refs got money on the Chiefs today. Fumble the ball! Was he down? I don't think he was down. They even blew the whistle. Was he down? I don't know if he was down or not. Here we go. The Chiefs got 14 seconds. No timeouts. Mahomes. Throws, nobody's there. Eight seconds to go. This might be the final play of the game unless they throw it like to the side. Miscommunication and there's gonna be five seconds to go now. There will only be one play. Don't like the Chiefs at all, but I do not want the Packers win. If the Packers win, they are also six and six, meaning they would have the same record as the Seattle Seahawks. Mahomes running around. Throws, end zone. Hail Mary shot, it's tipped. Incomplete, the Green Bay Packers have upset the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Green Bay Packers are now 6-6. Six and six. Same record as the Seattle Seahawks. All right, it's 9.44. Just turned off the NFL game. iCarly is on. Absolutely epic. I told you, I've said it in several vlogs. This is up there in the top three best Nickelodeon shows. It's number three right behind Victorious and Big Time Rush, but it is a very close 
number three. I absolutely love this show, and I'm gonna be watching this for the rest of the night. All right, it is exactly 10 o'clock. I'm not gonna take a shower because my head hurts a lot. And I have a lot to think about. Tomorrow is gonna be one of the worst days in a while. I'll get to that in tomorrow's vlog, but I gotta get up really early. It's basically like a new job, which is scary to even say, because having a job is something that I am so scared about. That's what terrifies me most in life, getting a job, because I am not the kind of person that can stay somewhere very long. If I'm not having fun, which I know this is not gonna be fun, I'm not gonna be there for very long, but still watching iCarly. I'm gonna take a shower, as I said, and I'll update you when it's done, and then I'll wrap up this vlog. All right, it's 1026, just got out of the shower. iCarly is still on, it's the iCarly Wars episode. This is one of my favorite episodes of all time, so unfortunately, I missed most of it, but that's gonna do it for the vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. And unfortunately, I'll see you tomorrow. I don't wanna go to tomorrow. It's gonna be a nightmarish day, I have a feeling, but. You know, I can't just sit here all day as much as I want to. So hopefully you enjoy this one. See you tomorrow.